So what are we looking at here? You, you're looking at a project uh, that is located in uh, in the western part of Estonia. Mm -hmm. So this is a project that we are already building, and it's already financed. So at the moment, the works are ongoing on the site. So this project is a is a hybrid project. What does it mean? Like it's not uh, not only a PV or wind uh, or battery storage. It's also uh, everything together. So we are utilizing the substation here. So what it means is that uh, basically we can uh, use the grid more efficiently. So this is the main goal of it, because if you put only the PV into the grid, mm. so these kind of projects are the projects that are needed, because we are basically utilizing the same grid connection point. It was some technology that emerged from, the, let's say, from the couloirs, uh, in that sense. The technology moved on so rapidly, innovation-wise, and, uh, and yeah, the technology has crazily uh, speeded up. Because if you look at the size, uh, big problem the, uh, if the big uh, concentrated uh, power systems are under whatever. It's one, two, essentially. And, and anything else that's life saving uh, and sort of helping with energy security. And, and, the, and that's five liters, that's roughly four something kilowatt hours in that tank. The one we have now, that's being put together, is seven plus kilowatt hours to really extend the endurance. Plus, because it's pre-stored, they actually right? they store in the batteries. They also store in the hydrogen. We put that in anything first response related. So uh, we're looking at maritime use cases actually as well. Because battery drones with 20 minutes, like you don't have somewhere to land. Yeah. Um, so we have a two-hour flight range, right? So we can go there, come back uh, as well. And of course, there's different ones like detecting oil spills. Even. So this year we will start going through. Can we head off? Right to the next one. So we here we have a company called Aus Catalyst. This is a better climate because uh, we are basically putting the CF2 into the stone. You can also show you they're this, not uh, climate neutral, they're climate positive yeah, because they're say, taking so CO2 out of the air. It used to be CO2, yeah. uh, invisible gas, and yeah. then we have technology to turn this into solid rock. Uh, How much CO2 is in here? So it's, the ratio is we, we, we consumed uh, 3.7 units, uh, 3.7 times of this. Uh, Really? Is this the equivalent of one car running for a day? I mean, how much carbon dioxide? Uh, uh, no, what, what, um, yeah, it's uh, that's a good good calculation to make. Yeah, yeah uh, but uh, to build one car, it's about uh, 100 kilos of uh, okay. this material. Okay. Wow. Then how, how do you get it to sort of solidify? How, what's the process you go through? About 450 electric cars. But if we go um, according to our scale up plan, then by 2030 we will utilize um, around quarter of a million tons of CO2, uh, which already provides, uh, provides um, battery create graphite for around one million electric cars. Fantastic. But the, the process in here and the um, voltage difference is applied uh, into the molten salt, and CO2 is bubbled into the molten salt. And after. Um, <clears throat> well, thank you, first of all, for having me here today. Um, it's seeing all the fantastic innovation that's going on there reminds me of some of the stuff we're trying to do in the Earthshot Prize which is trying to uh, tackle some of the world's greatest environmental challenges and it starts with solutions it starts with innovation uh, and starts with, with scaling and spotlighting those who are doing brilliant things and giving them a bigger platform as we heard from uh, the solar guys talking about being on grand designs has suddenly you know, increased their order book and they're now being being ordered and seen all around the world I for me, innovation is a huge part of everything we're going to have to do for the energy transition. And I get, I'm very lucky, I get to meet and see lots of amazing examples and amazing people doing incredible things with their new solutions. And so the Earthshot Prize came to me as a way of being able to highlight and showcase um, some of the people out there and give them the, the grand design platform, if you like, 
that showcases what they can do. But I think with all these things, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a jigsaw. No one thing at the moment is going to fix all of our problems from pollution, plastics, ocean acidification, climate change, whatever it is. There's going to have to be lots of different things happening. And I, I liken the Earthshot Prize to uh, not necessarily finding the silver bullet that we all want, but it might find lots of bronze bullets. And if we get lots of bronze bullets going, then the energy transition can really start happening. And we can target it in, a, in, in, in multiple ways and in multiple fronts. And for me, it's exciting seeing what we can innovate because I think humans are at the best when we innovate. I think it brings the best out of countries working together. It brings the best out of each other when we work together and come up with um, a challenge to beat. So no, these, you know, these companies here are doing a fantastic job. And I was reading about how many white unicorns in the tech sector there are in Estonia. So I think um, there's a lot of UK Estonian kind of ideas brewing. And like you said, you finished off talking about scale. I think everything comes down to that, particularly the energy transition. We're up against it with time and we need scale to be our, our biggest um, target. That's great. Both His Majesty the King and you, through your short prize, have done so much already to try to generate a sense of urgency around repairing the planet. What's your message to people in Estonia on this? I think you're doing quite a lot as it is already. I think uh, my message is keep doing more of the same. I, it, like I said, it, there's clearly a lot of innovation and a lot of excitement and a lot of um, good brains here trying to tackle these problems. I think sometimes we can feel quite let down when things aren't going fast enough. Um, it feels like two steps forward, one step back a lot of time in, in energy transition. But I think maintaining that momentum, maintaining that positivity, um, working together and keep innovating. I think all these things which you're doing anyway, um, working with your friends and partners like the UK and others, um, I think we can get there better and quicker than we can do by ourselves. So for me, collaboration is the key. I think it's it's gonna you know it's gonna be the way we we tackle these things much faster because we don't have the time. Mm -hmm.